What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth, it is Ananka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have an Amanita Muscaria trip report for you. The title of this trip report is Dancing with God, and it was submitted to Erowid in 2004 by the user Beatorizen. He is male, and no age or prior drug experience is given. With all that being said, let our story begin. I took an estimated seven to nine grams, took half a large cap within tea at 8 p.m. The tea was made by boiling water for three minutes in the microwave and then pouring the still very hot water over the cap and letting it steep for 10 minutes or so, then filter through tea strainer, took tea with milk. I wish I had some honey because even though I love Soma, I dislike the taste, especially in a tea. About 9.30 p.m., I ate another half of a dried cap. This was a medium-sized cap, feeling pretty good by 10 o'clock, high by 11. Then chewed the last bit, around a fifth of a medium cap, around 11.30 p.m. The last bit seemed to be what pushed me over the edge. Again, total consumption estimated at about 7 to 9 grams, from three separate dried mushrooms, all caps. Some observations from my notes taken at the time. The world is pulsing with energy. Each time in the room is alternately expanding, contracting, pulsing with life and energy. Colors are very intense and vivid at the light seems to penetrate everything. Objects have an inner glow much as I remember seeing things when I was a child. Lightning seems like that within the big top at the circus. This is a very high energy buzz. Intellectual, religious, physical. Work. I am painting the ceiling at a very large room, is effortless. I feel invincible. Not violent at all, but very strong. I am experiencing minor twitching convulsions, but they assist in the work. I am used to this from previous Soma experiences. I urinated but did not much drink it, which I have done in the past. I am so high and don't feel necessary, and don't feel necessary to extend or enhance this trip. Tried to turn off my cell phone, but can't figure out how. I had the sudden urge to conserve the battery. This is the greatest drug in the world. I feel God pulsing through my muscles. Just realize anyone can dance to every song because the beat is God. The pulse of energy that emanates through everything is God. I am dancing with God, literally. God is a mushroom, or rather, God created the mushroom so that man could participate in God's consciousness. Here began a long period of time where the word God was continually repeated in my mind. Although it took a long time subjectively, before I realized it, the situation was that I was sitting on the couch downstairs with this tremendous buzz going on. Everything in the universe was just buzzing with energy, and I was on the verge of feeling overwhelmed. Had to sit down, when all of a sudden I realized that the sound of the buzz was the word God. The meaning of the phrase in the beginning was the word and the word was God, becomes crystal clear to me. I had become one with God. I'm not talking about a sublime intellectual experience. This was the most astounding, powerful, awe-inspiring experience I had ever had. I'm not a scholar on Soma, although I've read many books on it, but this was, I believe, a peak religious experience. I can easily, easily imagine how people in ancient times would be in awe of this mushroom. I had the distinct sense that the mushroom was identifying itself through my consciousness as God. After this, which was probably five or six hours into the trip, I began to have heavier convulsions and resume painting. However, I was dropping the paint roller at a fairly regular interval. I began to notice that the convulsions were cycling through my body and started to worry, just a bit that they would affect my heart. For example, my hand would twitch, then my feet, then my arms. I was afraid that my heart would stop when its turn came up. But after, my legs, but after my legs buckled and I did not fall, I recovered very quickly. I stopped worrying about that. I also knew, because generally my memory was good, that this mushroom isn't a killer. Au contraire, it is my protector and my counselor. Another idea mentioned above is that somehow, is that somehow Soma is God's mean of experiencing. Through man's mind, the joy of being hard to describe. 
but I had the distinct impression that somehow God is only able to experience existence vicariously. Somehow human beings and other sentient beings are the lenses through which God views existence. The mushroom is the catalyst. For some reason, the time frame of 350 million years kept running through my mind. This may be from one of Terence McKenna's books, but the idea that Soma is very, very ancient was in my head. I also went through short periods of time where I was just standing and swaying, looking around and getting off on the trip. Not heavy visuals, no walls melting, etc., but one interesting feature was seeing the electrons, or something, within the air in front and all around me. They were very, very tiny multicolored points, almost like gnats, but lots of them, flying around. Similar to the stars one sees with a bump to the head. Very strange. I knew at this point that I was totally stoned and decided I was done with painting in the ceiling. Also, I knocked the radio on the floor and couldn't figure out how to get it working again. Definitely impaired. Finally, at three, I went to bed. I was glad that I had stopped when I did as far as not taking more. I had a somewhat similar experience 20 years ago on Cubensis, but that was more of a bad trip with things melting and many negative fears intruding on the buzz. This experience was generally positive, 99%, with little or no fear. The twitching seems to be a component of the Selma buzz for me, so I'm not fearful of that effect. I would certainly not drive or operate heavy equipment on a trip like this. Even a paint roller was too much at that later stages. Also, this would be an incredible experience, I believe, outside, in nature. In hindsight, I should have walked outside and looked around, but it was 3 a.m., and I was covered in paint, and the dogs would have woken up. All in all, an astounding trip. I still had another dose left, maybe another nine grams. One large full cap and two fifths of another cap. That will be an intense trip. But the question for me at this point is when. This stuff is so strong. It's not something I would do every day or even every week. One other trip from Donald Teeter's works is don't drink carbonated beverages with Soma. I found out the hard way that doing so will often lead to nausea. As it is, I drink milk with the shrooms and rarely, if ever, experience nausea. Again, no carbonated beverages. Take care, folks, and respect Soma.